If you have recently repaired a VCRT or suspect it has a leak, you may want to perform an isolation test. Here is a list of necessary tools and equipment for a successful test. Begin by closing the valves on a known good, clean and dry recovery cylinder or vacuum tight container. Attach the test tool to the vapor port of the cylinder. Then attach a known good valve core removal tool to the open through port of the test tool. Next, attach a known good micron gauge and angled fitting to the side access port of the test tool. Attach a known good vacuum hose to the open through port of the known good tool. Then connect the other end of the hose to a vacuum pump. Before starting the vacuum pump, open the vapor port valve. To start the test, remove one of the port caps on the vacuum pump, then turn it on and re-tighten the port cap. As the pump begins pulling the cylinder down, open each of the core tool valves to a 45 degree angle. This will help prevent pockets of air within the tool from not being evacuated. Let the gauge pull down to 200 microns. Once the gauge reaches 200 microns, begin opening and closing the valves on each of the core tools repeatedly. Because vacuum doesn't equalize like pressure, there are residual air molecules that are trapped within the ball valve and ball valve seals. Opening and closing the ball valve helps these air molecules evacuate. This process will take a considerable amount of time and should not be rushed. The longer you perform this action, the more stable your rise will be. As you allow the vacuum to pull deeper, Keep working the ball valve on the known good tool until the gauge reads under 200 microns with the ball valve closed. Then fully open the valve on the test tool and fully close the valve on the known good tool. Remove the hose from the VCRTs and allow the setup to rest for 15 to 20 minutes. The gauge should not rise past 500 microns within this time. If the gauge does not rise past 500 microns, this signifies that the swivel fitting, side port, and all threaded fittings are properly holding a vacuum. Next, we will test the ball valve seals of the test tool. To do this, close the valve on the test tool and remove the known good tool. Reattach the vacuum hose to the main through port on the test tool. Start the vacuum pump and open the valve. Pull the cylinder back down below 200 microns, being sure to open and close the valve to release the residual air molecules. Once the gauge reads 200 microns with a closed ball valve, remove the hose and let the setup rest for 15 to 20 minutes. If the gauge does not rise past 500 microns in this time, it signifies that the ball valve seals are properly holding a vacuum. When we compare a proper rise to a leak in the tool, you can see that the proper vacuum will have a slight rise that will eventually equalize as more time passes. This is opposed to the leaky tool that will have a steady rise all the way back to atmosphere as time goes on. Please remember that this isolation test should not be rushed. Experience and a high resolution vacuum gauge will allow for shorter times of evaluation. If you have any questions about your VCRT isolation test, please contact Appian directly.